For this test, I used two pounds of grain. I heated two quarts of water to 160 degrees. I used a one and a half gallon igloo cooler to perform the mash. After adding the water to the cooler, the temperature had dropped to 151 degrees. Next I added the grains quickly, maybe a bit too quickly. The temperature fell to 138 degrees Fahrenheit. I then added an additional half a quart of 170 degree water in an attempt to bring up the mash temperature, bringing our ratio to 1.25 quarts of water per pound of grain. The mash temperature stabilized at 143 degrees. I set the clock for 70 minutes. The provodone iodine solution was equivalent to 1% available iodine. I took sample 1 at 65 minutes. The mash temperature was 142.2 degrees. The drops of iodine remain a dark red, but do not change colors. After stirring, the test turns a very dark black. I took sample 2 at 60 minutes. Like sample 1, the test turned a dark black. I took sample 3 at 55 minutes. The test now turns only a light black. The mash temperature on sample 4 is down to 141 degrees. The drops of iodine remain a bright red. After stirring, the test is very similar to sample 3. I took sample 5 at 45 minutes. While the test is still mostly positive, there are clear signs that starch is being converted, as evidenced by the shades of reddish brown. I took sample 6 at 40 minutes. After stirring, the results are similar to sample 5. Because the mash temperature had fallen to 136 degrees, I added an additional half a quart of 180 degree water in an attempt to bring up the mash temperature. I then allowed the mash to sit undisturbed for 10 minutes to allow the temperature to stabilize. I did not take any samples during this time. After the addition, it leveled off at 141 degrees. The new ratio is now 1.5 quarts of water per pound of grain. I took sample 7 at 30 minutes. This test displayed interesting results, probably due in part to the temperature problems and corrections. You see a reddish brown around the edge, but a deep purple on the center. I took sample 8 at 25 minutes. While there is still a very light positive reaction occurring, the red color dominates the sample. I took sample 9 at 20 minutes. The test appears to be completely positive as evidenced by the bright red color throughout. Sample 10 at 15 minutes was identical to sample 9. As was sample 11 at 10 minutes and sample 12 at 5 minutes. I did not take a test sample at 0 minutes. The test had some hiccups. The mash temperature fell sufficiently throughout and required water additions to correct. But even with those problems, the mash was able to convert the starches to sugar adequately with a mash time as short as 45 minutes. With an additional 5 minutes of rest, the mash showed complete conversion.